so some of the things that we're finding, um, I smell like a huge stinge of what it smells of like oil or something. Uh, maybe like gasoline is what I'm smelling. Um, looks like these bags are some type of, I don't know. Um, but this is, it actually smells, that's like a, it's kind of a cool recycling thing. But it, it's got a very huge stink to it. Um, it smells like gasoline. And I don't want to be here without a bio suit on very much. Um, this is not not very healthy. I don't know if Invest is. I don't I have no clue. Um, this is very very ridiculous and sad, actually. I have no idea what the smell is. Um, It's definitely not safe, I can tell you that. I'm going to um, be talking to the mayor about this situation. Let me can see. Oh, this is just horrible smelling too. The debris is just ungodly. It's um, quite wasteful and I want to show you the people I met coming in. I don't want to show them. They don't want to be on camera. They're actually making, making uh, you know, an income. They don't want to depend on FEMA. They actually are up here in these two cars. They they man this as they come in. Um, both of them are coughing. They say that their throat's itching and they're throwing up. So it kind of made me sad. They're actually from the other side of Houston, uh, closer to Katy. They ended up in hotels and. Now they're just trying to make some income they don't want to depend on. They're worried they have families they don't want to depend on uh, FEMA. Even though there may be a wheelchair there. All the way down and the, at the very end we, we end up with a boat that's here. So, you know, is all this stuff uh, from the breeze? Yeah, I guess so. The place flooded probably by a river in this Montgomery County. And then we go down to a boat. I bet that thing was quite moving in the floods. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run into the neighborhood and we're gonna go eat, eat lunch with them and see the volunteers that are helping this neighborhood. Of course, we'll be nice, um, but I just kind of wonder, my question is why are all the volunteers over here and why is there so many people not being helped, you know? What do we help the privileged and never help the, we don't help the uh, non-privileged? underprivileged people I don't know anyway welcome to uh, Houston Texas and huge dump site is what it is <laughs> 